Welcome to Dark Sun Mysteries of Athos, an actual play stream for 2nd edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons set in Dark Sun. This is our second uh, attempt at uh, <laughs> trying, to, trying to do this. I can see OBS on the preview, by the way, Simon. I think it's got like an over, you, yeah, your overlay there. I don't the know window. how I get rid of that. Um, I mean, it's better than what we had. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go. Uh, we are, we've been struggling with uh, sound problems today. Um, so we are attempting to get it sorted. Uh, which meant we started like nice and on time and did a recap and then we're like, and then, who was it? Was it Tom who ruined everything by realizing that probably yeah, no one none of the sound us. was being captured. Yeah, sorry. All the bad news. <laughs> yep, sounds like it's uh, working to me. If someone else wants to check in on the stream, that'd be helpful. Um, I can do. Yeah. We don't need you, Beach. <laughs> Beach has just arrived. It's this is Beach's fault. So it's time to bully Beach. Um, uh, yeah. So, does someone want to? Uh, sum up tom do you want to sum up for uh anyone who is uh cu coming to this stream rather than the last stream of 15 minutes of silence what happened yeah. last session <laughs> so what happened last session was we uh did a bit of damage in the mines but then we retreated um so that uh, we could get more men before we took on deeper into the hive uh and then in the intervening time we decided we would go and check out the smuggler ring and so we went to where the tip off uh, had said this meet was going to happen and we saw some people going into this little hut with the yard behind it and decided to stake out the place uh, listening at the door and realising they were going to meet somewhere else later and then we saw Torchlight go into this yard and then disappear so we then went and investigated found a crate uh, that seemed suspicious we pried the lid off and there was a ladder down into this underground area where we're in now and we dispatched two of the guards um, by getting a surprise on them and then we went uh, down the south passage <clears throat> and uh, Beej's character nearly got killed by a, a lightning bolt on the door but we managed to go through and found an ancient arch which we think is from uh, which colour period do we say we reckoned it was from? The Blue oh. Age Blue, it's old. Oh, the blue. Yeah, blue Age we thought yeah and um, managed to read the inscription on there that said uh, something to the effect of uh, to open it you need a donation of blood from one of the true folk which we assume to be halflings um, so not having one of those to hand we went back up the passage um, and uh, uh, I believe it was uh, so oh, in an attempt to make this thing connect with the well Asher went uh, north <laughs> Um, and found because he's definitely that sure that the, the treasure is in the well. Yeah, yeah, he's certain the treasure is in the well, but he's found this cool little cave up here. But in the meantime, the rest of us stood um, at the sort of crossroads where we found the guards previously, and now there are figures coming towards us out of the tunnel, and we are preparing an ambush. Yeah, you've heard, you heard them. You heard them coming, didn't you? Um, yeah. Simon, do you want to? Someone is clearly living, living in this cave. Something. Sorry, say that again. Yeah, there's a there is a bed there. Uh, yes, I'm just checking for you. Um, the preview does not have you centered on the area. Just want to check that. Oh yeah, this might be me not. Roll twenty. There we go. This is just me not having roll twenty actually on my screen. It should now swap, so you can see what's going on. Um, now we can. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And yeah, you now have because uh, yeah, because uh, Alex is spending his summer Thursdays playing Pathfinder. Uh, we have a full <laughs> house tonight. Uh, with uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, why is he doing that? Arrived as well. Uh, it's he's running the game. That's the kind of scumbag he is. Really? Uh, Amazing. Yeah, it's his game. It's his games club. He he's got, gone from playing every other week to because he's going away to university. Uh, he's a, as a mature student, if you can believe him to be mature, uh, in the <laughs> autumn. Uh, to study, I think he's going to study creating is Hal from 2000. Uh, it's from 2001: A Space Odyssey. So not the history of that. Uh, um, no. 
Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, Gola and and Kent, the gladiators, Adriad, the wizard pretending to be an archaeologist, Quintus, the Templar, Nestir, the bard, and the shield bearer, the shield bearer, <laughs> are hiding whilst off to the northwest is Asher looking around a strange bedroom. Um, yes, so I think we had some declared actions was that Nasir was going to like cover the torch or something or hide it and I think uh, Gola was just going to charge it whoever came down the corridor. Yep. Kent, what were you going to do? What, we, what was Kent going to do? Uh, I was going to just wait and see what happens but knock an arrow ready to see if we can catch them by surprise. Hmm. And Adriad, I think, was going to wait and see who turned up. Yep. Um, and I guess Quintus. Uh, Quintus, do you want to have any commands for you, Nasir Bearer? Given that you are the only active PC on that side of the room. Uh, well, now that I have a shiny bow, I'll have an arrow ready myself. Uh, <laughs> this is the best thing about hiring those other hirelings, wasn't it? Was that when they died, you just took their stuff. <laughs> And the, yeah, and the shield bearer can stand in front of me and make sure nobody <laughs> nobody gets to me. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, so yeah, heading coming down the track. Uh, let's just yeah, great. Um, I will roll for their surprise because which will be at a bonus for you, as in because um, they you have not made any noise and you've doused your light. But yeah, you'd heard them kind of clumping around a bit and knocking stuff and being kept, you know, being like, oh, watch out there. And then they're saying about investigating the fact that there apparently been some figures wandering around upstairs. They are definitely surprised. One is definitely surprised. So, so I think we're going to have a bunch of, I'm going to assume that Gola will literally let people come into view rather than kind of charging off. Yeah, yeah, own. yeah. He's going to um, wait so. until he can see them properly and then he's going to go at them. Yeah. So I will, uh, I want some generic NPC tokens. Uh, yeah, so Gola is going to attack. Everyone else has a sort of watch and wait mentality. Um, let's... Yeah, cu coming down with a variety of of uh, weapons. Is he going to... Oh, 15 power 20 is... Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 uh, in fact, the Emperor is coming down um, escorted by Adeptus Custodes. <laughs> Son of Terror has come to claim his own uh sorry i just i was like where's that npc token company he's just appeared next to the shield bearer like he's just said hey dudes i guess i'm here now um yes uh at least um you you have the drop on them but at least 10 uh of these guys are coming down the corridor uh bustling down slightly ha slightly haplessly given that <laughs> They have just max surprised themselves by uh, coming in. So, uh, yeah, I guess, Gola, you are going to have the opportunity to charge in. Cool. Um, are the two bowmen going to open fire? I think as in Kent. I think Kent and Quintus both had uh, bows knocked, didn't they? I feel like. Will we get two two shots then? Yes, you will, because you haven't moved, so. Alright. I guess I'm sorry. Do I get a bonus? I do not. Okay. Um, yeah. So... Oh, it's bad. Mm, so, the, yeah, right. those are going to miss, aren't they? Because that's going to be best. It's going to be like AC-10. Um, my my ambush then, is garbage. Yeah. Uh, Kent, are you firing? Please, Kent, shoot. Because then Gola can charge in. Tom. Is he 
No, sorry, I was just muted. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll attack now. <laughs> yeah. Did you attack? Oh man, I just realised what what music we can have instead of this this uh, low ambient uh, underground. Let's get some. Should we try some different battle music today? Let's try some. I don't actually know. I can I miss? I these, so I assume they're good. Um, seven. Uh, so yep, uh, that shot will miss. Uh, you've got a second shot. Uh, Tom, if you're on second shot, that's gonna hit. Just checking my damage. One sec. Presumably going to be uh, well. Flight arrow would be D six. So is it a short bow or a long bow that you're using? Uh, it's long bow. So I think it's. I think with that, my bow and arrow is. You can use a sheaf arrow. You can one, use, so. Yeah, you. Yeah, uh, you can use a you can use a sheaf arrow then, can't you? Yeah, you're also at close range. Yep. So you can use a sheaf arrow at D eight damage minus uh, whatever it is. If that if it's bone, it might be minus zero. I guess because it's bone minus one to hit might. Zero to do what is that? Do I get any bonuses? I minus one, minus one. Uh, actually, do I get that bonuses from my stats to damage? Is that how this works? Or? No, unless you have specially made bows, thrown weapons, okay. and stuff like that, you do, but not. Yeah, okay. Uh, and proficiency, does that give me any bonus to damage? Uh, if you are specialized, which you are not, think... unless you've taken a bonus proficiency in it. Uh, I thought that gladiators were. Uh, is gladiators are proficient in every weapon, and then any proficiency yeah. they spend, they get a. I think I. Sp I mean, I've got specialized written on my sheet here, so. Yeah, yeah, that'll be specialized, and then you do get a, a, one, I think. a bonus to hit, don't you? Uh, yeah, you get a plus two modifier on attack rolls, at point okay. blank, but you don't get. You don't get additional damage, so no. Okay, so it's just D8. Yeah. Seven. Well, he's dead. Uh, nice. And then Gola, I guess you, you get... I assume it's the closest target to you here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to run to the closest guy, and I'm going to whack him with a Gifka. Gifka in the face. And I rolled 17, which is... You should have to control your pawn, by the way. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, he's no. He's actually got AC minus one. He's he's dressed in plates. Mm, he's I dressed in magical plates. To be able to control my paw, but it might be me being a div and not. Okay. Selecting the right thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you moved. I will. Him. I'll move him. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, so I, I run at the nearest guy, Definitely. and I am um, I give him in the face, and damage is two d four, isn't it? So two d fours i do only four damage mm -hmm. which is a modest but um acceptable amount okay let's check what his what we'll check what his hit points are we'll check what his hit points are let's roll the die uh he's dead well wow. two hit points Boop. he has been gifted this is something of a surprise as like Two of these uh, these criminals uh, looking shady, running around underground, uh, just get gunned down by in the ambush. Okay, declare actions round two. Uh, Ashley, you can Andrew, you can control the shield bearer if you want. Uh, he has. Did he end okay. up with a spear as well, or or um, or you can have Nasir. Nasir has daggers, I think, doesn't he? So, if you're gonna roll for those guys, you can. If you um, it off. Yeah. I so what do you want to do? I will continue yeah, to gift her friend. as many people as I can. And hopefully that will mean me you attack twice this turn? Yeah, it's, it's that, free. You'll be attacking twice this yeah, turn. Yeah, so it should be my double. Uh, uh, is it, are you, is Githka speed 7? Uh, Githka is speed 7, yep. That's correct. Yep, so 7.14. Quintus. Quintus Beach. is uh, familiarizing himself with his spells. Uh, I'll shoot okay. Actually, again. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, bear in mind there'll be a minute 
a skill chance of hitting Gola, but he's currently covered by everyone. Like the ratio is enormously high in his favour. So if it's <laughs> what it's worth. Um, if you could said now, it was uh, the will of the guards. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's Longbow sixteen. Um, Adriad, Jared Leto. It's morbing time. I'm going to cast magic missile. Yep. Uh, just generic target, I guess. You can you can roll them one at a time, so you may technically be able to get two. Cause I'll generate HP as we go. Um, Kent. Tom. Uh, I will rush in with my singing sticks. That's 2-4 because this is the second round, so you are on your beneficial round. Um, shield bearer and Nasir. Andrew, any um, thoughts about the shield bearer and Nasir? I mean, if the, if the spear the shield bearer has, I would say probably just... Oh. No, he should probably get in there, that's what they're for. Which one's the shield bearer on here? Or do we not have it? definitely has a shield bearer. He definitely has a short sword. Yeah, he's here. Uh, he won't be... Short sword. No, he's just... Uh, I'll move him. I, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I'd say he's going to short sword. Yeah, I'd say movement yeah, to use the short, short sword, yeah. Sword. And Nasir okay. should probably stay and back and it. use flowing back and use a sling. Oh, no, so it does have a sling, so a sling is dex, isn't it? Dagger? Yeah. Throwing dagger... It's like 2-4, isn't it? Because it's rough 2, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, yeah, you yeah, haven't written down any of okay. this. I'm going to assume that's stats, so, which is unhelpful. Yeah. Time to ban Alex. I mean, he did write down all the points, which die. I didn't follow with, so... Yeah. Uh, Beach, roll a d10. These guys are pretty screwed, I think. Even though there's loads of them. Four. Great. Okay. Uh, it is going to be you first, isn't it, uh, Jay? Okay. So, the missiles do you have at level four? Five, I believe. Yes. Is uh, it five? Uh, oh, wait. Is sorry, it four? It five. For every two actions. He has two at third level, three at. F oh, yeah. Two. Uh, Two, sorry. Maximum of five, I see. Yeah. You've got, yeah, yeah. Yep, so. Okay, so. I don't have roll damage, don't I? Yeah, you roll your first. You can roll them one at a time. So there is an eleventh guy, as in you had. Uh, um, so yeah, there we go. An eleventh guy pops up behind. So yeah, roll your first missile, Adriad, and then no, we we'll generate randomly generate eight p as we go. Ooh, um, he is. Given these guys don't have big dice, big dice. He's yeah, he's dead. Uh, do you want to choose one to kill? Uh, I guess just the closest guy. Uh, probably this one. That one, yeah. That's sensible enough. And then you've got a second one. A second missile. Uh, up and down. Yeah. You've got like a one and three. Yeah, that. So this guy, I guess, at the back has one hit point left. Or something like that. Oh, yeah, he is bloodied, so you'd know he has one hit point or two hit points there. That guy. I can... Um, There we go. Cool. Okay, so next it's going to be, I think, both Kent and Nasir. I guess you can time it for Nasir's first attack so that the ratio is better. But yeah, go for it, Nasir. Roll your first attack. Uh, right. Which is going to be... You're uh, going to have Thacko 19 pl plus dex. Uh, bonus. Yeah. I don't... He's not written down a de uh, dex bonus. I'm assuming you can get one. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, that'll mess anyway. <laughs> okay, Kent, uh, Tom, you should have control. I did check some. I I did give Go look control uh, to Ben to Ben yeah. Tusi. 
Yeah, I just clicked on the wrong thing, like a twit. So, I do have it, but um, I'm in Malay anyway. What a twit! What a fool, yeah. Is it me to go? Yeah, it's you to go. Okay, I should pay attention. I have rolled a three, which is not going to hit anything, and for my second attack, I've rolled an 18, which is going to hit something. So I'm going to cleave into the guy next to me, and I will roll another two. That's going to hit something. So it's an eight damage, which is probably curtains for some poor man. Oh, come on. Sorry. Um, and Tom, did you want to make your attack, sorry, as well? Your first attack. Oh, that's going to hit. So roll your damage, Tom. Singing sticks. This has technically happened before Gola attacks again, so yeah. Three damage off that one. Um, yep, you're going to kill one. And then I guess the dagger... Asher, do you want to make your second dagger attack? Not Asher, sorry, Nasir. And to Tom, you make your second attack now as well. Oh, 19, that'll hit. Probably uh, hit. In fact, the shield bearer will as well, Andrew. So roll for the shield bearer. Okay. Shield That's bearer. Roll for the shield bearer. Seven. I don't know what the shield bearer's thacker shield bearer was. Shield bearer but... hits. Roll, roll, roll for the shield bearer first. Yeah, his thacker will be 19, I think. 19 or 20, basically. So okay. his, I think it's going to be 19, because he's a soldier. Short sword, so that's D6 These guys damage? have, like, D6 damage. Yeah, it'll be D minus one, I guess. Okay. I'm um, hoping that the minimum minimum one. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy has three left. And the dagger. Okay. Um, the dagger is going to is going to hit and is going to be Jimmy D four minus one if it is a dagger rather than a knife. So D four. E oh God's sake. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, in terms of this combat, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies and two of you. I'll ignore the shield bearer because he's just. Um, so it's going to be five. So it will hit one of the enemies. Um, it will hit the one next to Gola. Um, and you did one damage, did you? Yeah. Okay, that guy uh, has three left. He's about to be killed by Gola, though, isn't he? So that doesn't really matter. But as in Gola can just attack him and definitely kill him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then yeah. I think we have one more attack from Gola. One more attack from Gola. Gola oh no, Quintus next. Gola Quintus, you're low. Unless we're already on the next round. Gola's Did you done. make two attacks? Yeah, I made two attacks. Missed the first one badly. Uh, yes, you, you're right. Uh, that misses. Gola's second attack kills a guy. Quintus, attack again. Sorry, uh, roll one at a time when you're doing specialised specialized attacks. Um, natural attacks will go at the same time. But if it's not natural attacks, if it's weapon attacks, they are separated in time. Um, yeah, Beach second shot. Ooh, uh, you're going to be uh, something like Thaco 19, aren't you? So that will hit. Uh, it is 6 to 2 in terms of your allies. Let's check. Yeah, it says my Thaco is 18, actually. This hits. Even better. 18? You're even better. That. Uh, that is going to hit Gola, so feel free to roll some damage against Gola if Gola is hit by AC5, uh, AC Gola. Uh, Gola has AC5, I believe. Oh, man. So, yeah, you do hit me, because he's got Dex of 3 and then not a lot of armor on. So dex a shout-out, a shout-out. Where'd they get bows from? Someone is shooting at us. Okay, I only did 2 damage. <laughs> That's okay, I can pick with that. Super. Uh, three damage. By the way, guys, sad news today. Microsoft has announced it's going to be shutting down the Xbox 360 store. It was still open? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Honestly, yeah. I think would have. Don't know what to do with that info, oh. Owen. Yeah. I still have two... Uh, we have two 360s. We don't often use them except for games that you... Either have a save on it or 
Um, I, you're not allowed to use it on Xbox One. Everything else is just installed on Xbox One now. Uh, great. Okay. Um, so yeah, you've killed. Uh, yeah, you've killed another couple there. Another three, I think, haven't you? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pretty pretty violent. Uh, they will be going at. Um, to be fair, they're going like twelve or something, but uh, that will only affect Gola in terms of attack, so it won't matter. Uh, too much, I guess. One will attack uh, the shield bearer, who is currently choking up that passage with the big tower shield in front of him. And miss. Three of them are going to attack Gola. Bring it Swarming on. is fun. Gola and Kent are the people you want to hit generally um, by these. That's 11 is going to miss, the one that's going to miss, the 18 is going to hit. Because it's going to be AC2 or something. Yeah, yeah. And then that's one damage. These poor guys. They and uh, it's that. In fact, all the last of these, two of these will be attacking Kent. Thirteen and eight. Does AC seven hit Kent? Seems unlikely. Checking. Tom, does AC seven hit you? Uh, no, I'm AC6. Yeah. They, yeah, just about, just about survived that one. Great, okay, declare actions. Continue to gift care. Uh, Continue yeah. making sweet music by bashing their skulls. Yes, continue to harvest them with the big blade on a stick. <laughs> uh, sling and shard sword, uh, I guess. Uh, Nasir Dagger 2-4. I guess. Shield bearer uh, sword sword again? Or is Nasser gonna do something? The Sea of had two daggers and he threw them both, so Okay, he so Nasir is just standing still, is he? Uh, switch to sling. Oh, has he got a sling indeed? Great. He's got a sling and he's sling got two six. daggers. Um Quintus. Uh, have I seen the shield bearer take any hits yet? He has not taken any hits. Alright, then I will drop O, switch to Footman's Mace. Yeah. And you're gonna push through and engage, is that the idea? Yeah, it's mace time. Is mace weapon speed 7? Mace is 7, yes. Great, and does that leave Adriad? Mm. At the risk of uh, leaving other people in the lurch, I want to hold on to some of my higher level slots. Um, mm -hmm. So I might just so pass you're going to chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jay, do you want to roll the initiative for your side? These guys get a six. They're still not really. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Da Daniel says in the comments, "Rip Xbox 360." Farewell then, <laughs> old friend. Uh, man, that is an awful initiative roll, Jay. <laughs> Maximally well, awful. Uh, you asked yeah. me to play. You asked me to roll a dice. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, stop stop making me play games with you. Just leave me in peace. Uh okay. Let's try to kill Gola. They all get to go before any of you. So Gola's gonna get attacked by three more. Um they're still over fifty percent. So ooh, I'm gonna hit for one of those. Six damage Gola. Ooh. Yeah. Out. Gola's still fine, Ouchies. but um you know. Yeah. Uh, does uh, if Kent's AC six, I will hit that AC four. So Kent is going to take a flesh wound as they just they're they're basically just trying to press you with their uh, um, yeah uh, stabbing blades. Uh, quite like decent quality, like stone uh, bone bone blades or whatever. Uh, two damage Kent and D twenty versus the shield bearer. Sixteen. 
shield bearer. Yeah. Um, it's like I think he's on, on about one hit point now or something. I'll check if anyone has the record of his hit points. I think he has six hit points. So uh, I think he's on one hit point now. Badly wounded. Oof. He says. He says rip Xbox 360. His dying words. <laughs> uh, he's not. He's not dying yet. Kent, uh, you're next. Yeah, you're. You are the quickest on your side this time. Ooh, yes, that hits. I felt like this guy was wounded, wasn't he? Yeah, only had one left, so he's dead. Yeah, I'll attack you. Shoot. Yeah, I see. I, I, I assume just the same target because you didn't say anything else. Shield bearer. Shield bearer, the shield bearer. Ah, right, yes. That will be. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Do clips exist? 20. That automatically hits. No, but it oh. does hit. So, a 20, generally speaking, in 2E. Uh, or just always hits. In 1E, it has a much higher likelihood of hitting because it covers more of the table, but it would mean that even if your verse is like AC minus 10, the Lord of Madness or whatever, then you would uh, hit him. Um, okay. Uh, three damage. Three damage? A one, we'll, so. we'll check. Ooh. I don't think this has taken any damage yet, has he? So let's. I mean, I mean this I might be a born. Be. This might be a born or an obsidian sword or something, though, so that so might, might be a be minus two. one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so that guy, uh, he's he had already been wounded. He's got one left. Um, then because you did two damage. Next is going to be uh, Nasir's sling. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess no. Uh, nope. Nope. Doesn't just yeah. <laughs> One thing is that, like, because it, because slings like bows require an arc. He's spinning it round and he throws it in the air and it hits the ceiling and, like, you can now see the uh, the bullet stuck in the uh, stone in the ceiling. You've thrown it so hard. Um, Mace and Githka. So yeah, at this point, uh, you can move forward to if you're your pawn and Gola and Quintus can both attack. Gola probably hits on sixteen. 16, yeah, because that's going to be like AC0 for you, isn't yeah, it, or something? Yeah, so free damage to one of the guys next to me. Well, I think these guys were all unwounded next to you. Uh, Beach, that's going to hit. Uh, I guess you're going to just kill your guy, probably, Beach, because you know he only has one left. Roll the damage, I guess. Um, yeah, you are going to kill... So, yeah. Um, <laughs> is that, do you have strength plus three? Wow. Would have to be plus four because uh, I'm assuming he's going to be using like my I, I, oh, have, no, mace plus, is on. I have an eighteen, yes. so I have a plus two to damage, and mm -hmm. my footman's mace says it has a plus one against small, medium oh. targets anyway. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Mm. So, uh, so it, it might be plus two net, but we won't. It's also no, it's bludgeoning, Andrew. It's bludgeoning, so I think it. Yeah. Some of those weapons are different. So anyway. you can make it out of just stone uh, or something yeah, without so, it suffering. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you just you just smash a guy's skull in. Uh, the Githka spins and uh, yeah uh, reaps the harvest. Uh, these guys are going to take a morale chip test next ch turn. Um, actions round three. I'm assuming Adriad, you're passing unless you say otherwise. But feel free to say otherwise. Yeah, I think so. You other guys. Githka, Githka, um, Githka. Yep. Any other actions? Um, uh, Kent is going to shower the guy. Uh, Surrender and tell us where the treasure is, and we might spare you. And if the guy doesn't look like he's going to surrender, he's going to hit him with a stick. <laughs> yep. Uh, Nasir Sling. Nasir, like, has so. Nasir and Quintus both have so little regard for their allies' potential safety. They're like, yep, just fire into combat. Um, Quintus. Anything? I'm... I'm going to attempt to keep our hireling alive so he can continue to be useful to us. So I will heal him. Hopefully they don't interrupt me. Yep. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess you can technically move back so you're not directly engaged, but yeah. Uh, COW is speed 5, isn't it? It's one of the few spells where you regularly like risk interruption, but I think that's kind of appropriate. In in 2E yeah. terms, I mean. Um, okay, uh, it's Tom, it's your initiative roll. Okay. Good, good initiative roll. Much better than that J guy. Uh, okay. So, in that case, um, the first action, Kent calls for the guy to surrender to the guy he's facing. Then the shield bearer stabs the guy next to Gola, who I don't think you'll get a rear attack bonus on it because um, he can. Yeah, he's not out. There's okay. not three points on the um, attack. But yeah, so does the shield bearer's attack next if he's okay. moving forward? Uh, yeah. I'm assuming that will hit. I don't know what their SA is, but that's a good number. They're like a AC7 or something. Um, yes, yeah, that's okay. And, ooh, ooh actually, well, backstab is bad, dead. isn't it? Because it might break. Yes, but he is dead, so. Because he. Uh, so I think max damage does count as max damage, doesn't it? It doesn't take a penalty, but it might break. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you check that while you're at it. Um, I'm looking it up as we speak. Okay. Google Documents hey. as being Google Documents. Uh, they, you've got an advantage of five on them for initiative, so Quintus, you will get your Cure Light wounds off before their initiative starts, so roll your healing. Yep, so he's on four hit points. Let's make their morale check, because they need to take a morale check anyway. Oh, they they fail them all. Check, and they will both. Quintus, they, well, I said that the guy facing Quintus will surrender. Would you have said it loud enough for the other guy to hear, or do you think that you're just talking to him? Um, I, I feel like I probably would have said it loudly, but I was directly talking to the guy I was threatening to bash with my singing. I feel like he was the one who to whom I can make yeah. the most persuasive argument in that situation. Um... This guy will start running, as he'll actually do a fighting retreat back to this guy, um, so he'll move two, and he won't take any op attacks off that, so obviously you can follow up Gola, um, you're not prevented from doing so, but he will move two, um, and they will, yeah, both call for mercy and quarter. Um, the only person who hasn't acted yet, oh sorry, Nasir and, sorry, both Nasir and Gola can technically Attack them if they desire to. I will not. I will give them quarter because it means probably we'll get more treasure yeah. out of them. Uh, I feel like Nasia probably wouldn't either. So yeah. Yeah, Ken will show them mercy, um, but tie them up prompt like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Quick, Quintus, uh, what, you've you've oh. you found some criminals. <laughs> Um, FYI, I've just rolled a d20 there for weapon breakage. If you roll max damage, you roll a d20, and on a 1, the weapon breaks. And I rolled a 19. So, so you do not break a weapon. That's fine. Yep. yep. Uh, be just reloading roll 20, I think. Okay. Let's get some... You've earned some less stressful music. Uh, dungeon ambience I have is Barovian Village. That's very. Uh, hmm. um, let's try this one. Uh, okay, so uh, that will because that took what four rounds I think. Um, uh, that we we can you still have time on Asher. So if you want to spend half a turn talking to these people, then. Spend half a turn talking to them. As we do that now, and then we'll move to Asher. Well, now would be the time for them to start talking. Uh, either they're going to tell us <laughs> where the smuggling operation is happening now, or they'll tell us later. <laughs> now would be more oh. pleasant than later. We have ways. Um, yeah, I was going to say that uh, 
they probably don't actually have any torches. There's probably there are probably some guttering torches on the floor. You can't just go and get the seer has to be fair, but uh, their torches are guttering on their corpses on the floor at the moment, generally speaking. So I assume that Nasir will uh, get his torch back to light the way. Uh, cool. Yeah, you can see a bit down this corridor. Uh, yes, they will say um, that the um, that the main uh, kind of station or post for the uh, for the their organisation is uh, back the way they've come, and um, yeah, continue northwest from there. They'll say. So, in that direction, and then continue northwest. There's a junction to further down, and then, yeah. How many are left? How many are down there? Um, they'll say there are patrols out. So, aside from the patrols, um, let's uh, uh, let's just check what their willingness to give precise details is. Uh, yeah, they're pretty talkative. Um, yeah, uh, there's there's patrols out, so there, there'll be some people potentially patrolling. Further in where they, they met, there uh, is the kind of hideout itself, which they say there is a... Um, that one says, oh, there's a, a defiler, um, a, um, another uh, five uh, uh, foot soldiers, um, and... Uh, they, they've got a guest from, they say from, uh, the, one of them says, I think he's from Draj, he's up from the north. He's like he's visiting from the north. Um, and, yeah, and they'll say that there are, there's also a guard post with um, a few bandits as well. And a leer, they've got like a, a, guard, a guard cat thing off in that direction. <clears throat> And what is it that you're smuggling? Um, I think they look at each other and um, say that uh, uh, yeah, they don't really ask questions. There's but this guy from the north has been talking about uh, getting um, yeah uh, items of power of arcane power. One of them says, "Don't know what arcane means, but sounds dangerous." Hmm. Hmm. All right. I feel like there's a lot more left than I thought there would be. Uh, anyone else yeah, have any same. questions to ask while we wait for... Asher to return from his little expedition. Do they know who, 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 who do they take their? Out. Oh yeah, are there is is well, how many how many ways are there to get into the headquarters? Like what are the, what are the different entrances? Um, says uh, that. The main one, um, yeah, as that they, they it, it is along that track to the northwest. It, in fact, the only way into the kind of the main bit is either from, like, from the direction you'd be going, so southwest and northwest, or from the the guard post at the end of that on the far west. He says there are like other corridors going off in that direction. Um, so from the, a guard post at the far west, this like this row of rooms, as it were. <clears throat> Who's in charge of this operation? Uh, he uh, uh, says uh, that um, he, he doesn't know, uh, you know, the big boss or whatever, but he says it's uh, <clears throat> a uh, trader um, uh, called uh, 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 Winso. Who is, he says he's in the headquarters at the moment. <clears throat> but Winso has, he, Winso 
answers to somebody higher up. Um, yes, but not someone who comes down into here. This is just a, a place they uh, uh, do exchanges. They use like the yard above as a kind of, you know, like a, a putative cover for trading. And then put stuff down here and then it gets uh, removed by the, uh, yeah, gets exchanged here for large sums of money often. This is understanding. Well, I think we'll wait here for Asher to return, and your cooperation is appreciated. <laughs> um, yeah, well, one of them will, uh, or yeah, we'll say before before you leave, people like, oh, there is, there's actually a, a deadfall at the junction down there. I mean, watch out for the there's a there's a plate under the matting. Oh, Andy. So, yeah. yeah ah. We will. Let's. Angling okay. for leniency. Let's see if I. <laughs> okay, there we go. Asher, you are in this uh, slightly damp bedroom. Um, it's a weird place. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, certainly. Uh, yeah, you look around. Um, in terms of its furnishing, it's quite lightly furnished. It's a big room, as you can kind of see. It's a big room, uh, but it um, doesn't have loads of stuff in it. It's, it is a cave. It has a pool over in the northwest. Um, it has a, a table uh, which has um, like a a, a, a smallish square stone table which has um, a uh, game of chess set up on it, which uh, is not active. Like as it's not actually set up. There's just uh, pieces um, in, in a box yeah. next to it. Um, it uh, has uh, two uh, mahogany or teak or something like that chairs, like deeply varnished, uh, which is probably good for the wood. And there's a slightly mouldy four-poster bed. Uh, at the end of the bed, there are uh, two chests. Um, and there is also an open crate next to the uh, bed. The, the, that stuff is mostly in the northeastern corner. Yeah, I guess I may as well help him start poking around in the crate. Uh, yeah, the crate has um, uh, it has like uh, what sit like closed, but it has um, oil uh, like and polish and things like that. It has a variety of things for like maintaining furniture or equipment or um, dinnerware or whatever it might be. Okay. Um, um, it is dark in here, he... but it is dark in here. By the way. There is no. I light. do have dark vision. Yes, you do. Yeah, you've got infra. I'm saying in terms of if it's relevant. If it's relevant, it is dark in here. Right. I mean, technically, I think I can't see color, so that might be relevant. I guess. I don't yeah. Remember how that works in this. Um, the chests, though. Do they look? Are they like locked? Unlocked? Are they like big, heavy locked things? Are they? They are. Small? They both. They both. They both have uh, built-in locks. It looks like. Like the fairly heavy right. duty, very heavily lacquered as well. Um, you can obviously you can do you can do lock pick or FR or find remove traps or whatever else you want. But uh... I mean, I could find remove traps, but my chance is only ten percent anyway. So yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to check it. So yeah. Okay, checking the first one. I think you rolled FR. I think you roll FR traps. Do you? Um, I don't know. Or do I? I think you do. Okay. Uh, roll D100. Uh, 33. No. So, you don't no. know. You just, you can't, you can't work out the first lock. Uh, you don't know. That doesn't mean you have uh, failed to remove traps, but as you haven't identified any, you can't. You can check the second one if you want. Yeah. May as well. 97, no. 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 No idea. You're like, <laughs> I, locks? I'm not aware of these things. You can still technically um, try to open locks on either of them, but you don't know about the state of the locks. Uh, maybe not. Let's. Where is there are... any way to walk to pick the lock? Yep. Uh, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's try picking one of the locks. Okay, go for it. Is this chest one or chest two? 
I thought they did buy. I did buy Faves picks. Good. Uh, looks like chest one. Chest one. Nope. Uh, you roll a well. Nope. Uh, that's a nope. Yep. Mm. You do not pick the lock of chest one. Yep. Bards have access to all thief skills, but not very well. Basically. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I can try the second one. I've got time. They're probably safe. Uh, uh, this, I mean, I guess... Um, you you will have had a couple of turns on them, so at this point, you have spent. I guess you've spent three turns. So, is that the? Okay. okay could you also make a save against poison? As a uh, as a yeah. needle uh, ping, pings out at you from the uh, lock, jabs out. Uh, is it roll under or roll over? Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Gland. So, uh, yeah, you uh, um, begin to feel sleepy. It's not too bad. Uh, I guess I should probably start wandering back towards those guys, given that that's not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It's not magically compelled sleep, I guess, or being in half elf isn't going to do anything for no, me there. Doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Do I make it back before I, before I pass out? Uh, yeah, you, you've got the time. Uh, I'm just having okay. to check the onset. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you will. Because you'll take, um, I guess... Uh, how long How long is this corridor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five, fifty, eleven, twelve. What's your movement? Uh, movement is base 12 mm -hmm. so that's 120 uh, per yeah uh, so that's okay. six so it's going to take you six down to the first room uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, you <laughs> you'll collapse in the corridor just short as in I think people know you're there but uh, okay. you will not quite make it before oh no uh, sorry you will um you will you will have another uh, couple of turns. In fact, you yeah you on your third turn you'll get up and join everyone else and find they've got they've collected loads of corpses um, or just finished collecting a bunch of corpses. So uh, I think you're probably up for lock uh, yeah I yeah yeah lock do, do... Up that way. But um, there was a poison needle trap on one of them. I'm gonna have a little lie down now. Okay. No, no. <laughs> and Andrew, do you want to make the um, the encounter check? The because they're, they'll now be doing another wandering monster check. You uh, um, D six. Yeah, it is. I think it's D six. Uh, yes, D six. Yeah. So yeah, okay. uh, you have a turn left of being awake at this point. I'm just gonna um, pull up um, a nice comfortable corpse to lie down to like rest my head on and just you know. <laughs> Lie down so I don't yeah. collapse. Yeah, we, we tell him to lie down on top of the pile of bodies just so we don't have to move him later. If you're going to die, you might as well pile yourself. <laughs> with the others. I don't feel dying. I'm just going to have a little nap. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do, guys? I mean, as I say, technically, Asher has one turn of being awake, but yeah. Well, what do you want to do? if any of you have a remove that... poison spell prepared, uh, we take out a sharpie marker and hold hold poison. What happens? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna feel really bad when it turns out I died. Can I gift to the box? You'd be surprised how I won't feel bad. Um, <laughs> can you gift to the I... chest? Do you mean as in? Do you mean as in? Do you think you could go and smash the uh, yeah, chest? Yeah. yeah, theoretically, you can attack objects. Yeah. Just depends what's in them, but yeah. Yeah, I've got nothing to help you with. It. I mean, the only thing I have is Githka. Um Yeah, I'm afraid I swapped out my slow poison for um for aid instead. I mean, technically, Nazia also has open box, and he's better at it than I am. So, wait, how have you? Plus twenty. 
Maybe I don't understand how bards work. Okay. That's a question yeah, for bards get thief skills. Yeah, but it says under the under the Dark Sun Bard one that they can only add a maximum of ten points into any thief into any of the thief skills. But I'm now wondering, does that mean per level rather than in general? Because Alex has added twenty uh, points to it. Um, you face. get points. Yeah, you you start with whatever it is, and then you add ten points, whatever it is, per level, or twenty points. Right. Um, I can sort. We can sort that off stream anyway. I'm just. I'm not thinking that we haven't that's, that's understood how. If he hasn't added points. No, he has added the yeah. points. He's just added more points than I thought I was allowed to. It's uh Oh. Oh, you think it's the other way around? Sorry. Um, it could, it yes, says that you can uh, add a maximum of ten to points to party. To anything? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what is the party doing? Does anyone have hold poison? I guess is the question Asher asked. I guess that applies basically to Quintus. Does Quintus have hold poison prepared? No, no, I, I swapped it out the previous uh, morning uh, for something else. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, in that case, yeah, what are you going to do then? Assuming Asher is about to. Uh... I mean, I'm in favour of Bendu's not being with you. Githkering those chests, I think that'll be interesting. Yeah, apply Githka to chest, and maybe it'll have whole poison in it. See, it is altruistic, my strategy. I also think maybe we drag this guy <laughs> nice guy him in that room, um, just to keep him out of the way mm -hmm. of any patrols. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know what to do um, with our sleeping friend here. I don't have any way of waking him up again. Other than shaking him, and if that doesn't work... To put him on that bed. <coughs> Being we'll, bash, we'll bash the chest open with Asher. With his head until he wakes up. Yeah. yeah that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, well, two birds with the one being right about where the treasure was. I mean, I think the tre I think that the real treasure is probably going to be in the headquarters. I don't know what this thing. Is. I wasn't there like... for that conversation, and now I'm too unconscious for you to tell me. I don't and know. Last what this little, was uh, right. last words. I was right. <laughs> I was right. The treasure's to the north. He says, falling asleep. What are we going to do about these two prisoners? Uh, bring them with um, us. I suppose if they're disarmed, they well, they could try to alert the others. I have a feeling they're just some low-level henchmen who don't care. No, and they've just watched loads of their friends get killed. So they're going to work out that we're basically invincible or some dudes anyway, and not want to create another fight, because uh, that's what any sane person would do. Yeah, I was going to say, to some contrast, you are now in their world, you are the Bulette. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're very, you'll come with us, and if you're very, very good, you will only lose a minor appendage out of all of this. And who knows, maybe you'll get to join us. Are you carrying I mean, Asha? I'll carry Asha. I mean, technically... Yeah, I'll sling it um, We could um, recruit them um, into our expeditionary mine clearing force as penance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We need people who are good at clearing <laughs> and underground areas and, um, you know, are willing to suffer. Won't really have a say in whether or not they do it. Yeah. We need people We need people who are good at standing in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need people who can hold the line. <laughs> We need people whose lives we don't really care about. Um, I guess I have no way. Uh, I'm this is Dark Sun too. Wait, do we have someone who knows about poisons? Can someone can someone like recognize what's happening to Asher and like tell us how long he'll be asleep? 
No, I only have dancing and hunting and animal handling uh, skills. Um, how long after this? Oh, does anyone have sleep, sleep checking? <laughs> I mean, technically someone who knows about poisons might, but there's no actual proficiency or anything for it. That I'm aware of. All right, we'll just dip his hand in some warm water and, and move on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you are you carrying him with you as well? Yeah, I'll carry him. Okay, I guess let's. Um, so. Uh, Simon, roll an encounter check because I feel like that's where we are in the order of people rolling stuff. D6. A 10. Oh, is it a D6? Okay. Uh... <laughs> that's an issue. <laughs> yeah. A 4. Great yes. initiative roll, man. Great initiative roll. Good work. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, coming back up, it's going to be um, B. Do you want to roll an encounter check? Uh, so yeah, you enter the same place at this point. I'm just thinking, uh, Nasir might have like a, a turn or two left on his torch for once, um, giving you a waiting down there for a little bit, and then um, got attacked, and then Asher came back. So yeah, just think that Andrew, if you keep that in mind, essentially you've got t two group actions before you um, okay. have to get chalk up another. Uh, thing so yeah i mean you've got light you can see everyone else can see what i've previously described you can see there's a pool in the west you can see there's a slightly moldy four poster bed you can see there's an open crate with a variety of maintenance equipment in it you can see that there is a two lock chests um one of which has recently stung asher the other one he did not and uh, um and there's a stone table with some mahogany or teak chairs heavily lacquered uh, there is an unset up board on the table. Um, look at the chests and prepare to smite them open mm -hmm. with gusto. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Nasir, Nasir can technically pick locks if anyone wants them to. Well, or, or find a move track, he's got to try, but um, um, I will smash them if he doesn't. So it's up to you, Messiah. Uh, Messiah, for now, has a 30% chance, um, assuming that this is set up correctly. So he can try. And, I mean, we already triggered the yeah. trap, so there's that. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Chest one. So it's opening locks. Is this him? You triggered opening a Opening locks trap. is this. Um, open locks, yeah, yes. And that was a one. Chest a one percent. opens. Critical opens. I think he succeeds, yeah. Critical success, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Critical open. Um, yeah, in here, uh, there is um, a small sack, and uh, uh, you can see it's it's lined uh, to be water repellent inside, hasn't it? It's got, got a like a, a leather or something or like layer on the inside inside that there is a um a small sack and a uh small uh book it, uh, like an actual book books are relatively rare not completely unheard of but obviously like yeah uh, the paper uh, requires um uh, either reeds or yeah. trees so yeah there is a book inside a small it's a small kind of little black book kind of shape and size Asher would have loved it. He knows how to read. I'm entirely uninterested in this. Oh, wait, I mean, open, it, kind of... open it pointing away from you. That's my advice. <laughs> um, okay. I will open it pointing towards Bit Quintus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Quintus, you look at this book as you open and you see that there is a list um, on the uh, page that is most thumbed and so what he opens to has five names, one of which are crossed out. All five are names of Templars. Oh. Blimey. Ooh. 
do I recognize the names? Like, is the crossed out name someone <laughs> I know? Quintus makes that noise out loud. <laughs> uh, it's someone you used to know. He's dead now. Ah, uh, that's what I was going to ask next was, is the one that's crossed out yeah. <laughs> someone who died? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Uh, are they, yeah, are they yeah. all, um, like, in the same department? Do we have departments? I don't know how Templars are uh, organized here, but, like... Yeah. We... <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have the equivalent departments. Um, like they're all in the vice uh, squad yeah, or something. Uh, they <laughs> are at... on the side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You, uh, um, yeah. We need, we need to get you some CSI Miami uh, like linemen, don't we? Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, she, uh, she. Um, sorry. Uh, the names are uh, a mixture of departments. Well, we'll have to um, figure out what yeah. the connection is some, between some them. Some law, some administration, some tax. Yeah. Uh, there, and like I say, there is a small sack as well in this chest. Mm. Uh, if I rustle the sack, does it sound like coins? Or explosives. Well, it's like coins, yeah. Yeah. It's mm. explosive coins. Explosive coins, yeah, yeah. Asher would have loved this too. He loved money. <laughs> I take out one coin, <laughs> put it on Asher's <laughs> chest, pocket the rest. At least put one on each the eye. Coin you, the, first, the, first, the, first, the first coin you take out, the, uh, there's <laughs> the, noise, the noise of the coins, there are different noises as they rattle together, and the first coin you draw out is a big golden coin. Oh boy! Which uh, no one I'll here has that one. successfully looted God before, but yeah, um, yeah. Um, is coinage? Um, I assume coinage is minted with like, you know, rule uh, the sorcerer kings on it, or the cities and stuff like that. They like to put their faces all over things. Yeah, it has it. Ha it uh, well no this is this is very old this is this is not of any current or from a very different place it's not of any current sorcerer king uh, in fact the face of the ruler does not look human huh well that's very interesting so this isn't just like everyday money in circulation well i'm afraid uh, i'm afraid i can't pay this out to to the group for now i i declare that this is evidence and slip it into Onto my belt. <laughs> Evidence, yeah. you see, everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, there are in that bag. Assuming you're it, there's five, five gold, and there are over seven hundred ceramic in different denominations of ceramic. Yeah, we'll have to figure out. We don't have to take it all into evidence. <laughs> you're asleep. We have to figure out <laughs> where the uh, where this came from and how it's if it's related to the. Templars. And we don't even know if this I mean it would be silly if this place wasn't somehow related to the smugglers, but like it seems kind of weird that it's kind of off here in the uh, off to the side. I have a I have a thought that I can't articulate due to being unconscious. Yeah, we keep kicking Asher in the ribs, hoping he'll wake up. <laughs> wake up. Yeah. I think Nas is trying um, to open the other chest. Or keel over and cock his last. I was about to suggest that. Uh, I'm gonna guess I won't be yep, as lucky this yeah. time. Ninety. Nope. Yeah. Kick, uh, kick, then Tusi, how about save, your uh, you make, save, po save versus poison at plus four. Sa save versus poison at plus four. There's a second needle. Different chest. I was not expecting a second save needle. Versus poison at plus four. In any case, that's twenty-one. Needle. So it's, it's weaker. Yeah, that's it's it weaker. Um, Nasir shakes mm. off the effects. Goes like, ooh, that's stung. Or whatever. Or po it's possible that actually just dodges that, dives out of the way. Like he kind of expects it and pulls his hand back just in time, as the springer uh, uh, goes. But no, he does not. Okay, um, Gola, I guess. Uh, that's going to be two. Um, Andrew, record you on a new torch. Uh, Jay, yep. do you want to roll a d6 encounter check? Uh, yep. Okay, uh, and Tom, do you want to run an encounter check now for Gola attack the turn that Gola attacks the remaining chest? Okay. 
Okay. And... Beach is uh, writing an email to the uh, uh, to the sorcerer king about this terrible. Yeah, I am. I'm writing down occurrence and, where he accidentally I'm, I'm noting lost gold. This, I'm noting the <laughs> stuff we found. Yeah, great. Um, good. Okay. Um, so yeah, Gola, I guess you're attacking and trying to smash a chest. Yeah, um, Gola I think smash. It is the way we're. We've done it. We have done it. We just roll a twenty, I think, and I have to like. You yeah, I've had a fight at the door before, but I think I lost that one. Qu uh, yeah, there are two. Um, there's ob it's that hmm, items object. I've got I've got item saving throws up, but there is a different thing. It might be in the same section, um, but where. You equipment saving throws 87. I'll have a look at that. But, you know, there's a thing which is like some things like have hit points, and I think this would count as a static object points rather than an item that we'd have to take a save. Um, but I'm just looking for that. Sorry, uh, saving throw equipment saving throws 87. Oh, it's uh, it's in the DMG, so let's go there. Um, yeah, so I think it's that you you roll damage possibly against it rather. I think you automatically hit it. So, come saying so is page thirty eight, DMG. But yeah, what? Yeah, you, was this was this in the fallen monastery of Ilmata that you were like trying to hit? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was it Gren, the late was... lamented Gren, was trying to hit this. Uh, it took forever for him to do it. Yes, Gren tried hard. And uh, all he got for it was a death. Uh -huh. um, oh, so uh, yeah. Da in terms of damaging equipment, um, I guess. Uh, what is it more like? A chair, common leather, glass bottle, glass panel, mirror, rope, wooden door. I'm going to say it's going to be somewhere in between there, isn't it? Let's determine how many hit points this chest has. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, it does not require an attack roll. Roll your damage. Cool. Let's just roll 2d4. Once and twice, because I'll probably be more than one round and get more than five hit points. Yeah, you can do it twice. Yeah, you, 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 will, you, will, you will smash it open um, fairly comfortably, as in hitting a wooden check. Could you make um, an encounter check for making noise, please? And I will check, and there will be some equipment saving throws, some item saving throws, which I will make. Okay, there is a six. So I do not encounter anything, hopefully. But, um... Yeah, yeah he's... Yeah, the, your, the fact you're screaming makes uh, an additional encounter check. <laughs> uh, great. Um, this is versus Crushing Blow. Okay, so, as you smash, there is a little scroll case, let's say, for that. As you smash over yeah. the chest. Do I need to roll? What I need to roll? Twenty. Twelve. I'm rolling it. Oh, yeah, I'm rolling sorry. Uh, I'm not. That's that will smash that, and then um, there are. Oh yes, this is the downside to breaking into chests. That'd be Just all the loot is destroyed in the yep. process. Breaking all the stuff in them. Two wood. There are two wooden vials in there. Are or were? Vial. V I A L. Is that being it? Are they past tense vials or still there? Um, I'll be able to tell you everything in a second. And for okay, so um, yes, you uh, will. Uh, s yeah, you smash a uh, a scroll tube and wreck the paper inside. Cool. Um, you smash one wooden vial, but there is another wooden vial undamaged. All right, that was a successful mission, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm unconscious right now. <laughs> Asher is really angry in his sleep at the moment. Hey, I didn't get poisoned. Uh, great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Nasir, Nasir is like, Ash is such a chump. 
getting poisoned. I didn't get poisoned. Yeah, not like he wasn't warned. So yeah, uh, you've got the, you've got the two prisoners too who are just watching this. Yeah. Those guys. So yeah, we kill that's them? what we're going to do next. Not yet. Um, I think we gather up all our loot and leave. Unless you guys have got any smart ideas. Certainly, I don't have smart ideas. I just have ideas. Well, we still need to take down the smugglers, right? Was that our goal? The, the, the fire that they mentioned. <laughs> And if I was awake, I would probably point out the connection between, you know, we've just found a room where someone's list, naming off, crossing off a list of Templars, and we found a presumably magic scroll case. And maybe that's connected to the Defiler, is what I would be saying if I was awake right now. Good thing you're not awake. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> sorry, I missed. Did we already inspect the pool as well? No. Hmm. I might go and take a little look. <laughs> Adro goes and starts like weirdly wiping his face of the water from the pool. <laughs> He's like like the uh like the Wojak, you know, who's like rubbing his face, that is Adro right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh uh yeah, what you will see is that uh uh, there is a spring here. This is a spring. And it is... Yeah, uh, go for it. Um, you don't have much light beyond that, so I won't give you any extra sight, but, like, Nasir is lighting to about where you are. Um, yeah, you can look at... It looks very clear water that seems to be welling up um, from beneath. As in, there's a steady bubble from, like, a crack at the bottom, and the water flowing westward, leftward on this map, mm -hmm. uh, into what... In the dark, you can kind of see semi-dark as a sort of corridor. Uh huh. By corridor, I mean as in it's a passage. It's a relatively low passage. The water flowing out—it's not the the pool here is probably like ten feet deep, but it is shallower at its western side. Hmm. I don't think Adriad's one to go swimming in his good robes. I cannot swim. So I do not volunteer I for this mission. Don't think I should volunteer in the Zia, given that Alex isn't here. <laughs> Let's drown in the Zia, because Alex isn't here. <laughs> I, am, I am in favour of that. Um... I mean, I would totally volunteer if I was awake. A good I mean, volunteer or prisoner. One hundred percent. But do you trust them to actually give any loot that they find back? No, but it'd be fun to watch them drown anyway. Yeah, I could ask them if they know what's, what's, your what's up the. Uh... I'm chaotic. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, go for it, Edward. Um, I think they would say that they don't, they've not been here before. They're a bit wigged out by being. Um, in terms of water, the only water they know is that north of their base, um, there is uh, the bottom of the well. Ah, uh, right, okay. Also, by the way, you have said so. I think um, they they'll um, yeah, uh, they're like they haven't they haven't uh, kind of followed the water. They don't know. They haven't been to this room before. Um, but north of their their base, like their base base's western outpost, there is an entrance eventually to the. Um, well, so that's the only water they know about. Well, well, well. Boom, boom. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you want to do? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Any signs of life from Asha? Uh, I mean, he's not dead, but apart from that, no. Okay. Um, 
Okay, you've okay. been asleep. For reference, I think. For reference, have you been asleep? I think you've been asleep. Uh, two two turns moving up because you don't. No one knew the way, and then three turns here, so five turns. You've been asleep. Yeah. I make it. Do do do. Just locking up, but by the design. Oh. Can I open the wooden vial and like smell it, inspect it? Mm hmm. Yes. But you can um, first it, give it a shake uh, to see if I think it's containing a liquid. Yeah. Uh, yes, it seems to contain a liquid. Then, yes, previous plan to open it, smell it, have a look at it. Uh, yeah, it smells kind of sickly and cloying. Yeah. Like of cloves, things like that. You could uh, dangle it in front of uh, what's name's face and see if he starts to wake up. Although that means we'd have to have to deal with him being awake. Yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll <laughs> put it under his nose. See that, uh, that doesn't anything. Uh, no, it doesn't doesn't come up. Yeah, I thought it would be a long shot. Oh. Tip it down its throat and see what effect it has. <laughs> I mean, that would be funny, but... I would really rather you didn't. Yeah, I think giving <laughs> because people... Because remember, unknown we already know that Asher, Asher wakes up. Great. Asher wakes up to decline. <laughs> yeah, Asher wakes up to decline the, the privilege. No. No more. <laughs> I feel like at the very least, Lavinia would point out that, you know... We've already found one poison here. Maybe we shouldn't just feed him random, feed our allies random vials. What about the tied up people? Um, yeah, you can offer it to them. Yay! Hey, when are you guys thirsty? <laughs> they're, they're like, no, no, we're completely satisfied with our conditions. Mm. <laughs> You're very, very good. Sense? Prisoner holders. <laughs> I don't believe that we gave this privilege I would say this, like was, a uh, this was a Thry Green saying in essentially a monotone, is anyone thirsty, whilst staring at like two tied up men. Um, <laughs> yes, anyone at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, actions, what are you doing next? We feel like we can take on that base full of smugglers. I think it would be not helpful not to be carrying, hauling around an, an unconscious person first. But yeah, yeah, I think we could probably do it. Um, we can always lob this vial at them and see what happens. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, my, I mean, my suspicion that I'm voicing it through Nazir is that, I mean, that vial could potentially be the same kind of poison that was on the needle. It's possible. In which case, lobbing it at them is not going to do much good. Uh, speaking well, of lobbing, guys, if, if you forget, we bought a crap load of uh, oil, oil and for, lanterns. What about for burning things. what about we find their well and just tip it down? It's always a good idea. What if we found game. what if we found an insectoid pig? And we started slapping. <laughs> <laughs> that is our default strategy. Is set fire to the pig. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, what we could do maybe is set a fire. If they think there's only one entrance to the hideout from that crossroads, mm -hmm. what if we set a fire? in the corridor between that and the other guard post and hopefully the smoke will cause them to come out of the hideout and we can then drive them into the fire like we can fight them with their backs against the fire and give us an advantage again try and get some surprise it sounds like a good strategy I mean if there's only one end on exit why don't we just asphyxiate <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, set the yeah, fire that and, well. and let it smoke them out entirely. Just kind of yeah, that, that, that would work potentially. We gotta play smarter, not harder. Uh, question. Asher was still totally present when we found all this treasure, right? <laughs> Do you mean does he get a treasure share? For XP? Maybe. Yes, he does. <laughs> this is... I think this has come up, I feel like, in a different game which Simon and Beach play in. I think this has come up with Walking Wounded because it's like, Walking Wounded can carry their stuff, so does that mean they can carry treasure and therefore share it? And the answer, I think, in that case was yes. So I guess if uh, as long as you're weekend with Ashering it, Asher can share the treasure. <laughs> um, so yeah, are you returning southward, or are you going down the passage with the water, or what are you doing? Mm, passage with water is my vote, but um, oh, I should know that that's. Wait, doesn't swimming. the water doesn't the water completely cover the passage? Like we would have to no, I mean, you it. need to get more light in it. You you can't you can't see the passage very well because you, um, you need light on it, basically. Okay. You can go and well, yeah, that's okay, it. That's go over there if you want. Okay. Um. So let's do that. Uh, does someone want to? I don't know. Is it whose turn is it to make an encounter check? Because if you're spending a, a turn examining this, then someone should, should do, do that. that. Good. You can see that there is yeah. a path around the pool to the north. You're ready to go yep. uh, In that case, uh, Simon. Do you want to pick a bath? Yep, I can D6. Oh, and yes. there is no encounter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, oh. So, yeah, you, so round, round here, you go north, you can see that it narrows, like there is a shoreline, yeah. as it were. By that, I mean like that very narrow um, yeah, yeah. Uh, ledge of rock going yeah, around the north. Off, yeah. And then it is a, a shallow uh, but steady stream going okay, down. Now wants to go to sleep too. Okay. So we could walk down it basically yeah. um, to at least some degree. I thought it was a dead end. <laughs> hey, it was Jay's play to actually go and bother to look. <laughs> well, oh yeah, I say. In fair play, I was. Jay has contributed for the first know. time in the entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I say. I was going to say, well, no, Jay, Jay's had two other, like, clutch combat plays. He's the only person who's absolutely had, because uh, it was he, it was uh, Fussful in Spelljammer who, yeah. like, on his own managed to take out all of the, um, the great, like, the uh, slavers, didn't he? Yeah. Like, just yeah. bananas and, like, killed three slavers. And then Benvo failed to kill the Boulette, but then uh, Garrus was the, he was the human shield for the Salt Golem. <laughs> like, everyone else was firing at the Salt Golem while Garrus was running around screaming while it hit him. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know if that counts as like a clutch play or just <laughs> necessary. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, Adriad um, and Co are looking down. You can see. Yeah, you can walk round if you want. Obviously, it's, yeah. So I suppose Simon's idea to potentially go down there, but uh, the pool is ten feet deep. You'd have to swim in that. The the stream round here. Um, if yeah, yeah, there we go. Pinging. That is not ten feet deep. It is a few feet deep. And there is at least in some of it rock ledge next to it to walk on. So uh, party, decide what you're going to do. My vote is we go down the passageway with the stream. I I agree. And see what uh, terrible fate awaits us. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring up the rear. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great, okay. So, uh, do you want to set up your march order? I mean, I can put, move, move at PCs, because you should all have your own PC. Um, I guess Andrew has Asher, technically. <laughs> uh, but if everyone wants to create a march order. 
uh, Asher can be carried, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and you've I also got prisoners, remember? I don't mind going, like, second. I don't want to go first, because I'm taking some hits. Um, and I can carry the, um, the unconscious one. Um... Mm -hmm. I feel like Nazia would probably yeah. want to go to the back. We should definitely shove the shield barrel up front because that's his purpose. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> that is the purpose of the NPC. So he's what up up next to Kent, is that the idea? He is on four hit points, by the way. <laughs> For what it's worth. Can we um, loot his kit if he dies? Don't say that out loud. He can't stop you. He can hear you. It can hear you. It may it may flee. It may flee. But it would be a coward. Um and then Quintus, Adrenad, where do you want to go? Are you just going, like, are you wanting to go in the middle of people? Are you wanting to go? Yeah, pretty much middle, middle to back. Yeah. I guess you could have Nasir at the back or something if you wanted. As in the party, you could have Nasir be rear guard. Yeah. Uh, what about the prisoners? Um, I think they should be near the front so they can be pushed into things if things go horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> what if they see their mates and start yelling for help, though? And then we stab them in the back. Oh. They could see their mates from any location in the party, so um, I don't think that necessarily, you know, it's... Mm. Should we, uh, should we blind them? It's just an occupation like, permanently, or just um, momentarily? I don't know if we have a method of doing it momentarily, but, you know... I mean, I can blind them if you want. I'm saying this all out loud, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, B just suggesting the, really um, the prisoners carry Asher. Yeah, they could do that. It takes, like the, it takes a load off me. Oh. I guess they need to keep their eyes to do that. Uh, probably. So, okay, where, where, where are they going? Um, where are they carrying after? Uh, they will go um, in sort of fourth and fifth, and they will carry Asher. And then whoever's taken up the rear can take up the rear. Mm. And then I guess it's uh, Adriad and Nasir, roughly. Oh. So they're, they're, their hands are tied, but they're kind of just like, just about holding, in very Chuckle Brothers style, holding Asher while mm. staggering around. And Shield Bearer is there, I guess, something like Yep. I'm assuming that suits what people want. Uh, okay, in that case, um, it is going to be Beej's encounter check, um, I guess. So, if Beej, you want to. Uh, okay, so you'll be part way down this passage, however long it is. I'm in terms of taking a turn of expression, splashing through the water, um, nothing leaps out at you. Good. Um, so far, uh, you have to, at points, duck, like it's at points low. It's not a very, very high ceilinged area, uh, but you are uh, able to kind of squeeze through at points too, you know, too wide, at points having to just slightly narrow. You can see it's narrowed slightly, but it is still just about too wide. Um, I guess technically you can see if the shield bearer probably hasn't. Um, Andrew, record another torch is in use at this point. Uh, okay. The shield bearer, assuming the shield bearer has it or something, you can see to about there. It seems to get the the stream continues flowing westward okay. from the from the spring. Okay. 
You continuing as a party? Yeah, I I vote we continue on. Um, we didn't come all the way to turn around at this stage. Mm. Does everybody else agree or disagree? Or... Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so at this point you will come uh, to, let's, uh, it'll be let's, moonlight coming in from above now, uh, eliminating a pool of water with worked stone sides at the upper ends of the shaft. Okay. I think this is the bottom of the well. Um, the water, yeah, the, the the water is deeper here, so that's a problem, I guess. But you might be able to work it out. The water is um, ten to fifteen feet wide. Kind of, it depends on the angle, but you could possibly yeah. get a ten foot angle. And we could edge around the edge of it by look of it, and not go in the water potentially. Uh, not a um. I, d I don't think so. So I'm just revealing a small amount more so it's clear where things are. You can see that, yeah, it runs up to the, on the southern wall, it runs up fairly deep at this point um, in this kind of large natural pool um, to the um, to the wall and uh, it flows to the north, on the north wall here it flows up. So you can't stay on a path completely either side. Okay. It looks about ten feet deep, you say. Uh, yeah, roughly. Um, a bit deeper in the middle of the pool, but it's now this area is similar in depth to that area off to the east. So it sounds like I couldn't easily drown in it, because 10 feet, I mean, I guess I could, but, you know, I am, how many, I'm seven foot tall. Um, does anybody want to chuck a stone in it and see if anything comes out? Um, fuck up. Adrad launches a fireball into it to find out what happens. <laughs> yeah, if there's some stones around Isn't or something, it? that'll be perfect. Yeah. Disturb the water. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, you are due, technically, it's your, your check anyway, Jay, so you, you are due a check, so roll your d6. See if there is anything in and around this area. Uh, two, uh, quiet, all quiet on the western front. Um, you probably very occasionally over the course of the turn, you're kind of investigating this room, looking around. You'll hear voices drift down from above, you know, but from from a distance. You know, obviously, like people not yeah. not looking down, but just uh, you'll, and you'll hear occasional clanking. Uh, I don't think anything actually happens, but we yeah, can't see just a, hear occasional voices up a there. A circle high up you know, of light high up, can we, or anything like that, like the sky or anything? If we're at the bottom of the well. Yeah, no, yes, no, you can. You can, no, you can. There's moonlight. There. Okay, this is the well. Um, there's moonlight. Do we, should we poison yeah, yeah. this then and then go back? That's why we, uh, that's what we wanted to do. What? We poison the well. So do we have that wooden vial? I mean, we could do that. I don't know if one that the poison would work if for ingesting, if it was an injectable type poison. It might also be very dilute. I'm afraid we've lost the vial. I definitely don't have it still. I mean, it's an experiment, right? We don't just have to wait and see what happens once we drop it in. Uh, it might How work. How long do you want to wait? Qu Quintus says. Qu Quintus says we'll just poison the populace by the docks if we do that. It's Quintus's. But we'll uh, get we'll get them too. <laughs> Are there any other exits? Um, I'm trying to think about what your uh, one. Two, uh, at the moment, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, let's think about, yeah, you're going to just be able to see a bit further than I've revealed, because you're using the moonlight as well, but obviously it doesn't only, yeah, there is uh, seemingly that you can see an exit to the south, you can't see the edge of the room to the west, probably, 
Um, there's a bit more space off to the west, but to the south you can see a passage going that way, Quintus. Uh, Quintus, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think anyone has swimming. No, swimming is not a. No. I mean, there's some suggestions about what you could do, but yeah. Uh, yes, you'd have to cross. Well, not actually the pool. You could cross this now the shallower bit of the pool here, rather than the actual well. To, um, to get round from what you can see from the moonlight. You could cross there where it's shallower. And, uh, and it's a narrow area. It's like you could angle it for a 10-foot jump. But it sort of depends if there's anyone who can do a long I mean, jump. It doesn't look like it's too horrible to swim. I mean, the Gola could probably jump pretty far. It's got decks of 19. He's 7 foot tall. And he has dancing as a skill. I mean, uh, I am not swimming anywhere right now. Unless <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're suggesting that one of the prisoners carries me while swimming with their hands still bound. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? I'd say if you have the jumping NWP, um, then. Uh, you can, from a standing start, you can broad jump 1d6 plus half your level, which would only be 2, so you'd uh, struggle um, that. you get, There are things like, yeah, uh, it's, I guess you could technically run through some of the water to jump, so someone who had jumping could do that. It is no jumping, he is dancing, uh, which is not nearly as useful. Yeah. Um, yeah, the th for by our greatest enemy, water. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, good night, Tom. Oh, right. Cool. Night, Tom. Okay. Tom's oh, he's gone, is he? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care enough about us to stay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say, should we make a decision on this? Because we'll, I guess we'll... Um, if we're not going to jump through the water and we're not going like to poison fight. the well, then we should just head back up and go to a different direction. Why do you want to poison the well? Uh, you know what, I'm not going to Because we're trying to wipe out these smugglers, and if they use the well... <laughs> well, they won't be using Everyone it... Everyone in town uses the well. I'm sure they do, but the smugglers do as well. Uh, does the party have rope, Quintus asks? Uh, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Not on me. Not. Nazia, maybe I will check. He's got stuff. Uh, not Lob though. You also have Kent. If someone wants, to, if someone wants to check Kent uh, as well, because Tom just got had to go. Uh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, he actually went off and took away. Um, I can check Kent if I can find yeah, Kent. Yeah, no, he, need, he needs. Oh, to he's right here. Him. Equipment on person. No, doesn't look like it. Uh, Adriad, Quintus? If Nasir, Asher, and, Ga uh, and I think it's a Gola. I think, yeah, so. Hmm. Basically, yeah, Quintus is volunteering to, uh, to jump slash wade, yeah. like, even if he's sometimes underwater, if there's rope. To pull him back out. Um, I, um, I'm not seeing rope on anyone currently. Such an currently. embarrassment for your party. <laughs> You're an adventuring I mean, party. You have no, no rope. Yeah. You have no rope. Um, I, I mean, definitely bought rope that we kept on the wagon, but it's on the wagon. We're good at D and D, y'all. <laughs> this very much feels like the whole. Like, you know when people are like, oh, I, our worst enemy is doors, except here, rather than embarrassing stuff to do with, like, bad D20 system rolling to, like, smash doors or whatever, this is just, you, you're bad at the game. 
Um, yes, uh, you're correct. People do not generally know how to swim. Swimming, in fact, I think is often a barred starting proficiency in Dark Sun. I think it's recommended as that in the rule book. Like most people can't swim. There, there are there are bodies of standing water, but they are rare. How about a long spear that can be held out? Um, what is the longest spear you have? Does anyone have a spear? Is it a githka? I guess. Yeah, because probably the longest thing, which I assume is the same length as me at seven foot. Um, could be a bit longer. Yeah. It'd be weird if it was shorter than me. Um, so that's not going to reach very yeah. far across. I guess the gift. It's a, so it'd get him technically about halfway across. Mm. Um, does anyone? <laughs> Does anyone have anything? <laughs> You're about to be uh, foiled by not having anything long enough. <laughs> I mean, we could go back up, grab the remains of the chests, and chuck those in as floats. That's not a very good. My idea. other characters have all, but this one doesn't. Because I spent all that money on thieves' tools. Oh, no. And yeah. I assumed that someone else would have all, but, you know. Uh, I mean, um, make a uh, yeah. The I mean, your prisoners just had swords. Uh, Robber, chalk. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This this is this de especially for like a level four party. This is has to be one of the most embarrassing ways a fourth uh, party that's significantly fourth level has ever run into trouble. Even though it's not that not particularly dangerous. <laughs> like I would volunteer to try it, but I'm unconscious. Can we drop him in the water and see if he wakes up, or at least dunk like, his head in? Oh, wait. You can splash water on him if you want. I, oh. I don't. Think... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to splash water on him and maybe face dunk him a little bit and see if he wakes up. Uh, yeah, do you want to make a save against Poison Asher? Yeah. I hate that that worked. Ah, oh, he's woken up. Yeah, Fantastic. Asher wakes up. Now can I just chuck him head okay. first into the water? <laughs> no, I'm going to Why have the... Why is the weird bug man trying to drown me? Because he thinks it's funny. Also, what are we... <laughs> most important... Where are we, yeah. I found the stuff, right? I found the stuff. Where's my share? Well, we're trying to get across the water. <laughs> and we needed a volunteer. Oh, so you tried to drown me... Because you wanted me to volunteer for something. Yeah. Your job okay. is to get across this water and tell us what's on the other side. Okay, I'm going to have to add the um, swimming fee to my poisoned fee, just for future reference. Yeah, sure. Um, does, has anyone got a rope we can use to like sling over? Uh, um, no. I have tightrope walking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping that there's a very narrow ledge I can sort of eco. I can sort of. Um, <laughs> Um, no, we don't have those things. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, I I have a chatkas. I can chuck those. Um, and that is a this basic. This is my bag of stuff. He has a seven foot pole. He has a seven foot pole, as yeah. well yeah. as the conclusion about the. Yeah. Yes, we're not giving it to you. You can just hold this, on to the end of it. This is my bag of stuff. Yeah. There was a pet beetle in there in a small cage. Yeah. He is mo his life is more valuable to me than any of you. Look after him while I'm down there. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to try and wade through, I guess. Wade, splash, swim. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, as you... I'll check. Let's check under. Wait, you guys. I'll check under. You guys checked there was nothing in the water, right? Yeah, there's nothing in the water. Or... It's okay. perfectly safe. It's just water. <laughs> 
definitely. I mean, um, yeah, you can hold your breath and float if you don't have swimming. Yeah. So I guess you can. Are, are you planning to like hold your breath and float, and or are you planning to walk the bottom? I mean, in theory, I only need to hold my breath and drag myself across the bottom. Because it's only like 10 feet deep, that's not insanely deep. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a, you're, you're, you could be doggy a... paddle around without drowning. I, I guess I'm going to do something. I just like prod do you like. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold my breath and float. Yeah. Spells give me a sharp kick up the ass. Okay. To propel me in the right direction. <laughs> Someone not wearing armored boots. Yeah, that's important. Okay, I see. I see. I assume someone someone can do that because we should finish in a second, uh, and we'll kick uh, Garrus. Uh, sorry, um, not Garrus. Asher across that section of water where he will bump against the other side and be able to pull himself up. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I was going to say you. Um, I was going to say you'll like, you'll, you'll go around the fr you'll go around that side, I guess, Sorry. in terms of the shortest section. So someone just takes you across and then you walk around. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, if you go around, I'll finish on this on you being able to reveal this passage. I guess is probably not a bad place to more okay. or less finish the session. Um, is there is a you you can I think see further than this because you can see sixty or thirty. Can you see okay. 60 or 30, Andrew? That looks like a bit of a tight squeeze. Um, it's it's a single single file, and it heads down. The, the slightly wet, uh, slightly going, I think, downhill, uh, slightly, slightly moist. Oh, no, it's pretty flat here, pretty flat, slightly moist. It's gently downhill, but not very much. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, last decisions by the party for the session before we finish? Um, the question is, do we want to swim across and join him, doesn't it? There's another passage going down there, but we can't easily get to it. Um, mm. You say it's about ten foot round the side of the pool, right? Deep water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try and walk around in the shallowest area possible, because I could basically walk on the bottom and then just bounce up to get corpse of air. So, I, yeah, I could cool. literally be on yeah. this side to try and grab and drag people if they get close enough. Yeah, I was going to say, you can kind of, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll pick that up next time then with assuming that you were attempting, what are you doing with the prisoners? Are you going to leave them here or are you going to... It's up to the others. Let them choose what to do with them because I'll just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cool. It's an interesting suggestion from Quintus. I don't know whether or not they would agree. <laughs> then again, picking the bottom of the option. Uh, yeah, Quintus is looking for a palanquin. We'll see, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just assume you're crossing around to try to squeeze down that passage next time. Uh, does someone, not Jay, who's next on the pile, uh, Andrew, do you want to roll a d6 encounter? Um, check, just to finish the session, as you have at that turn going around. Okay. And then we'll finish. Okay, this comes lucky number one. Maximum drop. Yep. There, num lucky number one. And another D6. Uh-huh. That's a six. Uh, which was, what, yeah. And a six. Okay, let me check what is coming to kill you. Um, great. Uh, yeah, uh, the water... Uh, I, for now kind of rising and pulling themselves up out of the sides of the pool that didn't burn oh. and smashing are are uh, 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 yeah uh, lichen covered bodies or something so you guys we said go. you we'll checked find out more next time well uh, did you check actually I did check yeah so check thanks conscious. everyone <laughs> for watching we'll be back I think we're back next week I believe. And I'm going to end the stream there. <laughs> night night. Night night.